In this video, we'll be looking at plan drawings, which is where you draw a small scale drawing to help you plan something bigger. For example, planning where to put different objects in a room. For example, here we are asked to draw a plan of a desk measuring two by three meters and a sofa measuring four meters by one meter onto this room plan. We're also given this scale, which tells me that one centimeter on the grid is worth one meter by one meter in real life. Now, if I want to draw a desk that measures two meters by three meters in real life, on my drawing, I will need a rectangle measuring two squares by three squares. For the sofa, I will need a rectangle measuring four squares by one square. Now, because I'm not told where they need to be in the room plan, I can put these two objects anywhere I like. So the key point here is just to check that they are the right size. In this example, I need to draw a plan of a bed measuring 2 meters by 1.5 meters and a bookshelf measuring 0.5 meters by 1 meter onto this room plan. Now, this time I have a different scale. So I'm told that one square represents 0.5 meters by 0.5 meters. So if I have a bed to draw that is two meters by 1.5 meters, I need to figure out how many squares that is on the plan. Now I can count up in 0.5s to work out that one square is 0.5. So two squares will be equal to one meter, three squares will be 1.5 meters, and so four squares will be two meters. This means that I will want to draw a rectangle measuring four squares by three squares, and that will be the bed measuring two meters by 1.5 meters in real life. If I wanted to do this without having to draw it out, I would need to work out how many 0.5s there are in two. So then I could do two divided by 0.5, which tells me there's four squares in that direction. And then 1.5 divided by 0.5, tells me there's three lots of 0.5 in the other direction, so that's three squares. So now if I want to draw the bookshelf, 0.5 meters will be one square, and one meter will be worth two squares. So I draw a rectangle measuring one by two. And again, it doesn't matter where I place these in the room, I'm just asked to draw them somewhere into the plan, so I can place them anywhere, as long as they are the right size. Now here is a typical question where you would use plan drawing. So we're told that Peter is designing a classroom by drawing a plan. Each centimetre square on his plan drawing represents 0.5 metres by 0.5 metres in real life. He needs to fit eight desks into his classroom and each desk measures one metre by 0.5 metres. We're also told that the desks have to be at least one metre from the whiteboard and at least 0.5 meters apart from any other object in the room. So that's these computer tables, the door, the window, and including all of the walls. So it has to be at least 0.5 meters away from all of those. And then we're asked, where could all the desks go? Notice in the question they say, where could all the desks go? Not where must all the desks go. So where could the desks go implies that there are multiple ways of doing this correctly. As long as all of these things are true, then you'll have a correct diagram. So first, let's work out what size each desk is. We're told that the scale is 0.5 by 0.5. And so each desk will be one meter by 0.5. So that's one meter will be two squares along. And 0.5 will be one square along. So we have desks of this size. So I'm gonna put my first one here because I can see that it is at least 0.5 meters away from the wall and the computer tables. And then I can start arranging the desks and trying to make them fit in to the space. So I have my eight desks and I can see that they are at least 0.5 meters away from the walls and from the objects in the room. And I need to check that they are at least one meter from the whiteboard. So here's the whiteboard. I remember that one meter is equal to two lots of 0 0.5, so two squares. So if I try and draw a line that's two meters away from this whiteboard, that's two whole squares, which means the desks should not really cross this line. 
So I'm going to have to do some rearranging because if I actually move any of these desks further that way, they will be too close to the other desks. So what I can do is I can try and turn the desks the other way and see if I can fit more in the room like that. So I know that this desk is at least 0.5 meters away from the walls and the computer tables. So I can just start filling in the rest of the eight desks. Now that I've arranged the desks this way around, I can see they're all far enough away from the whiteboard. So it doesn't pass that line that is a meter away. They are far enough away from the walls and the other objects in the room. And so this is my plan for where the desks could go. I've fitted all eight desks into the classroom. I know that I've measured them correctly because two lots of 0.5 is equal to one meter and then one lot of 0.5 is equal to 0.5 meters. So they're the right size and they all fit. So if you've watched all of this and you now feel confident, then you can go ahead and try the questions yourself. Or you can stick around and watch one more video that will take you through another example.